V B N The Rich Video Blog Network, home to weekly NFL predictions, great personality profiles, great professional wrestling video blogs, great sports video blogs, great MBTA video blogs, great cute leggy blonde mentions, plus tons more. Collection of my work goes back to June of 2014 on various social media websites, RVBN, the only video blog on the internet that matters. Time is 8.04 in the evening, Bellwick, Massachusetts, on Tuesday, July 18th, 2017. More rain showers happening. It's about 74 degrees. Looks like no walk for me tonight for the power walk. I did one this morning. I tried to get one or two in, but I didn't get the second one in due to the extreme heat. Well, it's not really heat, but the humidity in the next several days it's going to be humid and a chance of rain every single day. We're in New England. Wait one minute. We'll all be complaining about snow in about 15 to 16 weeks. Some news to report on the RVBN Newswire. Do, 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 do. The Boston Red Sox acquired pitcher David Robinson and third baseman Todd Frazier from the Chicago White Sox. Also, um, the Arizona Diamondbacks acquired outfielder J.D. Martinez from the Detroit Tigers. And all A A. L players under contract for 2017-2018 can participate in the 2018 Winter Olympic Games for their country. So the hockey tournament for the men's in 2018 is going to be compiled of basically HL players and some college players. You know the Russians are going to have professionals, and it'd probably be the odds-on favorite to win the whole thing. And that's about it on news from the RVBN News. I do, 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 be back in a flash with my third and final video blog subject of the night, which will be about the WNBA. But first, here, there's tomorrow on RVBN. Three more video blogs for your entertainment. First video blog will be about former professional wrestler and WWE Hall of Famer Bullet Bob Armstrong. Second video blog subject today will be about the Northwest Expressway in Massachusetts Route 3 from Burlington to the New Hampshire border. And the third and final video blog subject of the night will be Mike and the Mad Dogs radio show that was on WFAN from September 1989 through August of 2008. And more great video blogs on the way. RVBN. Time now is 8.07 in the evening in Bellica, Massachusetts. I'm back. My third and final video blog subject tonight is about the WNBA. The WNBA is a woman's basketball league in the United States and it's in the 21st season there's 12 teams that com that comprise of the WNBA the WNBA is subsided by the NBA and it was formed in 1996 by NBA owners to have women's professional basketball league in the United States Women's didn't have a big professional basketball league in the United States. They had a minor one in the late 1970s, early 1980s called the Women's Basketball League, but that was independently owned and they didn't make, didn't make money off of it. But the rise and popularity of women's college basketball in the late 80s and early 1990s, there was a demand for a league. The top college women basketball players had to continue their careers in Europe if they were any good. And some of them were making lucrative money, but they wanted to stay in the States. And the WNBA got lots of sponsorship. And they started in 1997 with eight teams in in some major markets and all of the teams were owned by NBA teams and they adopted their colors and they had um, big 
big time television contracts with ESPN, Lifetime, and NBC. And they played a schedule from roughly from mid um, June to September with the WNBA final soon afterwards. And they had an All Star game. And the lead expanded very quickly. Eventually, it had 16 teams in the early 2000s. But with so many teams, many teams were running under financial problems. And some of them had to fold or move. And all of the teams, the first few years, were in NBA cities. And they played in the arenas that the NBA teams played in just to get some summer entertainment for these arenas because some of them were built publicly owned and they wanted to make their money off of it and the WNBA had some great players over the years including Lisa Leslie, Cheryl Swoops, Cynthia Cooper, Rebecca Lobo, some of the major teams were the New York Liberty, the Houston um, Comets, the Utah Stars, the Phoenix Mercury, the Seattle Storm, the Charlotte Sting, among others. They had some teams move. The Orlando franchise moved to Connecticut. They became the Connecticut Sun. There was a team in Detroit that moved to Tulsa and then moved to Dallas. And in 2003, the WNBA contract became exclusively to ESPN and ABC. And WNBA attendance was probably six, 7,000. And some of the arenas they played in, they topped top the big on it. And the WNBA had amazing, you know, Players eventually Sue Bird played in the WNBA and Di Diana Teresi in the late 2000s. The WNBA got corporate sponsorship for their logo, for their logos. So each team has a corporate sponsor. They eliminated the team logo from all the jerseys just to generate more money. Sometime in the mid to late 2000s, many WNBA teams were being owned by other people who were not part of NBA ownership group. And the WNBA is probably the best women's professional sports league out there. They have games on ESPN, ESPN2, NBA TV, and local regional sports networks. Currently, there's 12 teams in the WNBA, the New York Liberty, the Washington Mystics, the Atlanta Dream, the Sh no, the Atlanta Dream, the Chicago Sky, Minnesota Lynx, Seattle Storm, Phoenix Mercury, San Antonio Stars, um, Connecticut Sun, Seattle Storm, Dallas Wings and a few others and the WNBA might be expanding soon and I wouldn't be surprised if Boston gets a WNBA team sometime in the near future. The average WNBA player makes about fifty, sixty thousand dollars a year, which is probably good. And the WNBA is not really a big money losing venture for the NBA. It's just subsidized for the um, NBA. And being around 21 years for any professional sports league is pretty, pretty good. And a lot of people were saying that the WNBA wouldn't have last more than five, six years. But it's lasted and it's going to continue to last for many, many more years. And that's about it on the WNBA. I'll be back tomorrow. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus with Three more video blogs for your entertainment. First video blog will be no for three more video blogs for your entertainment. Like I always say to end these video blogs, keep calm everybody. And I'm a Julie Brennan guy. Julie mentioned me again on her Facebook chat. Julie, you rock and you're the best. 
Molly Rosebud, WCCO Rocks, and has the best legs in the Twin Cities. Elizabeth Hart, already set renovate, which is on New 6. Is so, so stunning. She's the best. She has the second. Nicest legs in Orlando, Florida. Amy Sweezy of Weesh 2 is awesome. Awesome. Amy Linda Church of WPIX Channel on New York. Such rocking cougar. Got the best legs in New York City. Bun on. Bobby Gibbs of ABC 11. Sweet Southern Axe. Best legs in Raleigh, North Carolina. Nikki D. Ray of CBS 6 is awesome. Has best legs in Roanoke, Virginia. And Ali O'Woolley of WABI Channel 5. Bangor, Maine. Rocks. And the best legs in Maine. Bye now. See you later.